Texas has the largest woman veterans population in the country, and the numbers continue to grow. I spoke with a group of women veterans connected with a wide range of resources, including the Women Veterans of West Texas and the Texas Veterans Commission. These women are dedicated to making sure that women who have served in this country are not overlooked by getting them the resources they need and deserve. A lot of women deal with negative circumstances. Uh, let's say uh, a woman with a purple heart, you know, for her military service, has it tattooed on her neck, she's wearing a veteran hat, goes into the store and they're like, oh, where's your husband so I can thank him for his service. Or you go to, you've got DV, D disabled veteran tags and you go to park in a disabled spot or a veteran spot and they're like, you can't park there only if your husband is with you. People still don't understand, even in this day and age, that women also serve. And so it's important to create some awareness so that this won't keep happening. It's very frustrating, especially when it happens over and over and over again. And it shouldn't happen today. The thing that really, really makes it universal for us is when we got out and what we experienced when we got out. That transition, you went from being at the top of your game in your field to now having to transition and to try to figure out who you are because you can't go back to the girl you were and now you went from being the most independent human you know a woman veteran to being codependent that transition of now you're a different sort of mother you're a different sort of wife that's the part that i see in every one of you when i look at you who it is the struggle that you must have had when we got out, right? Even other women who have served, you do not have to be in combat. You do not have to serve two years. You merely sign your name on the dotted line. You take the oath and you ship off. If you look at the, what the definition of veteran is, that is a veteran. There is nothing about combat in there. It is a duty to serve our country. And for women, most importantly, and we forget, we volunteer. There's a calling for us. We are not part of the selective service and we're not part of a draft system. And you see it even going into the VA. We sit in there to get our services and we're waiting on our husband. To this day, I still get called Mr. Massey when they call to set my appointment. And yes, I get frustrated with them. And these stories are not uncommon, and being overlooked happens quite frequently for women veterans. Even the theme of last year's Women Veterans Day was, I am not invisible. Our last year's Veterans Day, tell me why my brother, my husband's active duty, my brother invited my husband to go to my, to, um, you know, his daughter's Veterans Day event. My own daughter, who sees daddy, she's 11, but she knows I served, she sees daddy in a uniform and she asks my husband if he could go to her ceremony. And I'm sitting here and I was just like, wow. Like, cause they've never seen us in our uniforms, our children. They don't know the women that, you know, that those, those women that we are, they have no idea of the story. But to my, you're talking about identifying in my own family, it happened to me. It's Veterans Day at the Texas Roadhouse. I went with my dad and they uh, comped at his mill. <laughs> and, and we were sitting there just looking at it. Then I looked at the guy. I was just like, my dad's never served. I'm the veteran. I was army eight years. And he was just so embarrassed. He was a young kid. He was so embarrassed. He's like, I should have asked. And he ended up comping both of our meals. And Sherry says, be proud of who you are and your service. She also says most people don't mean any harm. They just don't know. And it's a good opportunity to start a conversation and bring awareness to your service as a woman. There are also many resources out there that many veterans are not aware of. A lot of men and women both, but mostly females, when they get out, they get out on what's called bad paper. So let's say they experienced military sexual trauma or, military, or sexual harassment of some sort. And so it, it affects their behavior or they report it and they're treated very unfairly. Oh. And ever since 2017, they are now eligible to request a discharge upgrade. But so many people don't know about it. And it can take six months or a year, but it is so worth it. Um, Jerry and I can, can personally attest to seeing the tears and the transformation in people that have 
been forced out of the military because of this, because nobody had their back, not even their, their commanders or supervisors or whatever, and being justified with what happened to them and getting that honorable discharge certificate. You're, you're just, you're not alone. You're, you have a lot of, you have a lot of sisters that are behind you. And talking about it is healing. Yes, it hurts. It's painful. But talking about it is healing. But I would say you need to talk about it to the right people. You know, women who understand you or um, a retreat a counselor, a, a minister, somebody who's going to actually listen and not judge you and accept and understand and help you through that moment. You can't just talk to anybody and expect it to be okay but definitely need to talk to it and we can connect you with people who will listen and help you through that you are definitely not alone and you are not alone and these women with the women's veterans of west texas can help you with housing emergency assistance and again that information on upgrading your military discharge just to name a few it's important that women in the midland and odessa area they they need to know that they're that their service qualifies them for benefits and they need to look for them and they can contact me they can contact any one of us any one of us that's on this call right now has just got a, a mecca of just resources um, that they need to take advantage of and if you are a female veteran in west texas and need help or would like to start a support group in the permian basin visit yourbasin.com for the information that you deserve